Dean here from Hospitality Table Cornwall. Um, I've been tasked with matching beer with curries as we're still in the lockdown. Uh, lots of people are getting takeaways. Um, quite common to have an Indian or Chinese, um, but loads of different curries and great vehicle for food and beer matching. Uh, one of the courses I do is a course in understanding beer and how it works with food. So what I'm going to cook today uh, for my tea is a cauliflower satay. Now this would also work well with chicken or prawns. But I'm going to talk you through the ingredients I'm going to use and how they would work with beer. So first lot is just the seasoning. Um, these are just going to bring richness. That's kind of what they'll bring, a bit of depth there with the soy sauce, a little bit of piquancy with the Worcester sauce and the garlic, a bit of fruitiness as well. I've also got chilli sauce, which is also going to add that kind of depth, that piquancy, that spice. I'm not going to focus too much on them. What I'm going to focus on here as a satay is quite rich and oily. I'm going to be using coconut oil, coconut milk and peanut butter. Now all of these are intense, quite rich flavours, quite creamy flavours. And they're all going to bring quite a lot of fat and body to this curry. The next thing, um, just talking about that, this is roasted peanuts as well. So what I'm looking for is the malt flavours in here and a richness. So what I'm looking for this beer now is that kind of slightly roasted malt, darker than a kind of an, a, a, a lager. Now the next batch I'm going to focus on is the herbs, the fresh herbs. So I'm using a, a green chilli and coriander. Now these are going to freshen up the curry and help take away from this richness and oiliness. They're also going to give that grassy flavour. Green peppers have quite a green flavour, anything green, grassy. Hops are also green. So we're going to look at those kind of grassy flavours we're going to get from the beer. So we want some hops in there. The next thing we're going to um, go through here is um, the vegetables I'm going to be using. So we're going to use a red onion and an orange pepper. Now an orange pepper has an almost mango flavour. It's very rich in its flavour as a pepper. Um, as with all kind of East Asian cooking, we're looking at, I haven't got palm sugar, it's locked down, but I am going to use a spoon of sugar. And the actual curry mix is just a medium curry powder. However, its main elements are coriander, turmeric and different peppers. So it's quite fruity. So all of these have a kind of a richness and a fruitiness in the ingredients. So I'm going to look for a beer that's not only got hops, um, but it's also fruity and full of body and a slightly darker malt flavour. And because I'm using a lot of different seasonings, intense in that flavour. This is going to have lots of fish sauce, lots of seasoning. It needs to have an intensity as well. Finally, the last thing I'll talk about is the cauliflower. Again, it doesn't offer too much. It's just more of a vehicle to take the sauce. I'm going to roast it, so I'm going to bring some colour to it. Uh, it's me about to dish up. We spoke about uh, the kind of fruitiness of the onion and the yellow, uh, the orange pepper and the curry powder. So we needed something big and fruity. We said about the green of the coriander and the chilli. For that, we need something with some hops and that grassy bite flavour from hops. So we need something fruity, hop, hoppy. It's rich. Um, and we need something to be able to cut through that. So we need something with a fair bit of alcohol and we need something that's got roasted malt flavors from the roasted peanuts and the peanut butter. And also I'm roasting some peanuts just to finish it off. So a bit more roasty malts. Finally, we said it's got a lot of seasoning in there. It's got lots of fish sauce and chili sauce. So we need something rich. So what I've chosen to go for today is an American style IPA. So I've gone with Punk because you can get it in every kind of shop going and we are in lockdown. So whichever supermarket you go to, that would be what we choose. It's fruity, it's got root more, it's kind of darker malts in there. 5.2, so it's 5.6, sorry, so it's got some good alcohol in there as well, which is gonna help cut through. The chili, it's gonna soften down. Um, and it's got lots and lots of flavour. So my recommendation with the satay, bottle of Brewdog, American style IPA, that, there's other things out there, Shipyard as well, uh, and Life and Death, but this is the one I've gone for because you can get it everywhere.
Cheers.